could be a multitude of things. It could be that they're not attentive in class, they're not coming to class, that they their disposition changes from when they first commence study to part way through the term. Little signals like that may throw up to the course coordinator, the lecturer, the tutor. Uh, they all may get a different perspective and that might give them little signals to go to either the course coordinator or to one of our counselling people and say, look, I've just noticed a change in this person. Um, is there any way that I could link them in with you? Those sorts of things. Uh, apart from that, we then have the monitoring academic progress, which no doubt you've heard about. And each student will be identified and sent a letter and an email to say, hey, you've failed more than 50% of your course or you've failed the same course twice. What's going on? And then they're asked to contact us. There's a new... Um, push this term, that's we're going to contact every single person that gets a, uh, a map letter, I think it's map stage one that we're going to contact, and ask them, hey, you haven't contacted us, but we'd like to let you know that we're there for support. So if we can get hold of the student and find out what's going on, then we might be able to intervene. It might be that they're in the wrong program. It might be that something's happened during the term that they need assistance with. It could be anything, and that's what we're there for, to, to try and help where we can. Uh, it would be good if a course coordinator or lecturer identified some little alarm bell going off and told us early in the piece, we might be able to assist the student to withdraw before the census date.